Broadbent here, violinist and instructor in online violin education where I train violinists all over the world how to improve their technical skill sets for more melodic playing. I want to congratulate you for finishing off the five day challenge. It's been really absolutely wonderful to see so many violinists improve in their violin tone journey and to have so many ahas that they can implement in regular practice sessions and continue on in their violin journey. I wanted to give you uh, just another little resource to help you out with your violin tone. If you go to online violin education and you can either just go into the blog or the search bar and go ahead and write in tone and I'll leave a link below in the description so you can find it and go to 10 gorgeous violin tone tips. Okay, and in this blog post, you have 10 tips to help you out with your violin tone. And they're broken down in different categories. Body, your body, left hand, right hand, and soul. It's really important in your practice sessions that you are completely aware of what you are doing that you are completely mindful. As soon as you have what I call the fuzzies, the fuzzy head syndrome, it's time to take a break, okay? So always make sure you're mindful. And then relaxation is really, really key. We talked about that in the five day challenge, so continue to remember that in your practice sessions to stay relaxed and to make that a point. So it's really important to listen and observe. So always be listening to your tone. If you hear something that's a little out of whack, that doesn't sound right, really stop and investigate why did that happen. The best thing, like we talked about in the five day challenge, do make sure that you record yourself, a video record. It's really awesome. I do it all the time in my practice sessions. I did it just today when I was working on my compositions, playing through my compositions. I video record myself and then I go through and take notes in my music or else in Trello of what needs to be improved on and why it happened. Not only do I write in, okay, measure number 15. I say measure number 15, shift to fourth position, something like that. Or string crossings, the bow was slightly crooked. So you can always improve on the tone with your notes, with your how you practice and that you're listening and observing. Balance, it's really important to be balanced in body and mind, to be sure to be, you know, that your body is balanced, that we're not doing any kind of funky leans, <laughs> or that you're, if you're sitting, that you're not slouching, that you're really tall like a tree, okay? And uh, I have in this blog post some stretches to help you out to make sure that you're staying relaxed when you're playing. As far as the left hand, really important to your intonation is spot on, and that you have a nice, relaxed, beautiful vibrato. Now these two things I discuss in quite a bit more detail, actually all of these I discuss in a lot more detail in my Gorgeous Tone Immersion program, which we'll talk about in a sec. Okay, for the right hand we have relaxation, obviously, to pull out from the instrument, not to push. We talked about that in the five day challenge, not to push down, but to really to feel like you're pulling out. And it's very important, the speed and weight combo, bow exploration, Get to know every part of the bow, love every part of the bow. If you are not a frog lover, make sure you explore how to become a frog lover. I have a blog post on that as well. Uh, balance, again, to always make sure that when you're playing that you're balancing on those double steps and that you're not pushing. And then finally, the soul. Shiniki Suzuki has two beautiful tone quotes. One is, tone has the living soul. And secondly, beautiful tone, beautiful heart. So this, the tone that we produce on the violin is a representation of our soul. The tone that we produce on the violin has a direct connection with our soul. So that is the 10 violin tone tips. You can find that at onlineviolineducation.com. I will put the link in the description below. I'm really excited to present to you my gorgeous tone immersion program and how it is structured. It's structured to take a violinist in six weeks through a tone exploration journey. And it's not only a six week program, the momentum is the six weeks, but after that, the violinist will know which modules they want to go back and, and explore even deeper. It's really important to go through with the specific momentum as an immersion. You'll have access to the program for the lifetime of the program, so no need to worry about absorbing it all in in the six weeks. Absorb what you can with momentum and then you'll know exactly where you want to go back. In the sixth module, we talk about an exit strategy for you to continue on in your regular practice sessions with the Gorgeous Tone Immersion. So let me just walk you through the six modules. We have module one, 
we, which is setting the foundation, and I'll leave a link so you can follow along with me. This is at Online Violent Education and the Immersions Gorgeous Tone e Enrollment. So module one, we talk about what is tone, how is tone produced, how to choose, take care, and maintain your equipment, how to attune your body before even touching the violin. This is really exciting. It's an exact protocol of what you can do to attune your body, to know and be very aware of your body before the violin, violin even comes to it. And then bow fundamentals. I call this where the magic is because without the bow, we wouldn't be able to pull out any sound or any tone. We talk about posture relaxation, troubleshooting tone, what could be actually causing some issues within tone. We have some required listening because it's really important to actually know what you want to aim for with your tone. And so it's good to listen to some superstar violinists to get an idea of the tone that you're after. We talk about the importance of the hand frame and fourth finger strength for the left hand, shifting basics, about the thumb being your guide and the placement of the left hand. And these are all very important foundational systems to have in place in order to pull out a gorgeous tone. I heard this quote yesterday that applies to this extremely well. The advanced works in anything is the basics done extremely well. So it's really important to have the basics down. That's why we cover this in module one. There's no shortcut to the gorgeous tone on the violin. You can't go from zero to 60 in you know, two seconds. You have to be able to have these foundational systems set in place. Module two is tonal bow technique part one. And in this, we talk about straight bows, the five contact points, the bow arm mechanics, the river and you, the role of the wrist, again about balance, weight versus pressure, speed, weight and speed formulation, and the sweet spot, I call it. And then in module three, it's more about the left hand. It's strictly devoted to the left hand, relaxation, strength, vibrato, intonation, and scale practice. Module four is the combination of the left hand and the right hand with relaxation, with the strength, very important, the coordination. Dramatic dynamics, to really have the dynamics come across to the listener. And then module five is tonal bow technique part two. We're taking a little bit more in depth look into the tonal bow technique, finger flexibility, string crossings, minimalization, articulation, consonant versus vowel sounds, marked delay, double stops, triple stops, and quadruple stops upper register, knowing your strings, spiccato, and ending of phrases. So it's a lot to be covered in that module. And then in module six, the final week of the gorgeous tone immersion, it is etude and piece application. So we have some etudes, some divine double stops, and some other pieces that I put in there for you to explore your gorgeous tone. Like I said, it's a lot to have covered in six weeks, but it's the momentum, and then you can always go back and focus in on the areas that you would like to focus in on. So if you want to learn more, I'll have the link below, and you can check it out, okay? Take care, and have fun on your gorgeous tone journey. Ciao!